Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen? The adorable ducklings chirping to their heart's delight just after hatching in the suburbs. And they wouldn't be alive today if not for some eagle-eyed nurses and a turkey, a turkey named Tallulah. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli takes us for a walk on the wild side. The Fox Valley Wildlife Center echoes with the sounds of new life. In a back room, you'll find nine just hatched baby ducks kept warm by their mother, Tallulah the turkey. She's been my baby since she came in. I just love that turkey. The little fuzzballs came out of their shells just yesterday. I've been on pins and needles waiting for something to happen. She talks to them and they apparently understand each other's accent, turkey versus duck. In a mishap, the duckling's eggs were orphaned and that is when Tallulah, whose damaged wing keeps her from flying and longing for chicks of her own, came to the rescue. I was going to take her for a walk to get her mind off her troubles and these eggs came in. Enter the ER staff from Advocate Sherman Hospital just down the road. I've been a nurse for 35 years and um, I mean everything matters, every living, breathing thing. They witnessed the duckling's mother killed by a hawk as she was protecting her eggs. So the nurses gathered them up, kept them warm and brought them to the center. It bothered me that these little eggs were out there and they might not make it. Now, not far from a one-eyed owl and a kind of shy blind possum, the ducks are making their home beneath a cage of recovering squirrels, kept warm by a turkey named Tallulah. Maybe not birds of a feather, but flocking together. I was so proud of her that she just sat right down and did what she was supposed to do. Heck, I'm proud of her too. So much more to this story. Jean, the nurse, said that she had to wait about half a day to get the eggs safely to the wildlife center, so she kept them in a blanket, put them in a room with a heater, and kept turning them every so often just to keep them alive. And Robin and Erica, they're going to stay at the center until they can fly away on their own. Oh, well, Tallulah has such a great instinct, and it all really makes for. I was thinking like a great children's story. You know? Well, it really, I mean, I'm amazed that they would just bond that quickly. They also bonded with Carmaine, uh, who was the photographer who worked with me today. If I walked in the room, the chicks would run away, but they followed Carmaine all over the place, and one even jumped the fence and followed her to the well, rest thank, of the building. Thank God for Carmaine, we might not have gotten the story then, right? That's right, so no. we're glad we worked together. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, all right, thanks. Beautiful man. story.